they asked if I'd bring some sheep in for the mutton busting at the ranch rodeo. I already kicked those yearling ewes out with the whole bunch a long time ago. I really wish I had them separate now. So now I'm gonna go try to sort some out of the big bunch. Well, come on, new kid, let's show you around. He's coming back through. This sure makes me happy. It's been a couple hours. You look pretty happy. Are you happy with your sheep? Did you find your food? Did you find your food? It's a kind of normal bonnet. And I love that he turns and goes to sheep instead of me. Yay, pup. Good job. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm sitting out on a hill. I've got a couple dogs with me. Uh, a couple dogs are just hanging out with me. We are grazing sheep because we're running out of grass up close. I like to keep... Uh, I like to keep my ewes and lambs close. I've got like woven wire around three pastures that are just a couple hundred acres each. And I keep them there during the summer is what I like to do so that it, it helps with uh, predator losses. Before we did woven wire around the smaller pastures, we grazed them out in this bigger pasture and we only had five strands of barbed wire and good golly, the sheep were out all the time, all the time. And I hate to say it, but we lost a lot of lambs until we, even with guard dogs, we lost a whole crap ton of load of lambs. We lost one year, uh, I don't even want to say it, but it's pretty sad, but it's just the truth. We went from, we lost 70 head of lambs. We had 700 head of sheep at the time. So, you know, 10% on those lambs, that was a hard loss. And once we woven wire fence some smaller pastures and keep those ewes and lambs in closer while the lambs are here, it has helped tremendously on that. We went down to losing two lambs to predators last year. It's a huge difference. So normally I have three pastures just for the ewes and lambs. And then once the lambs are off, the ewes go out to pasture. So I'm gonna turn this around because it's more fun to look at them than me. If I can figure out how, yeah. So I'm out, if you can see, okay, so. I'm getting rained on a little, praise the Lord. So, so you can see past that one, those two little trees right there, just past that where the white chalk rocks are, are where the ewes go right now for at night. They stay there and, and the, up by the stack yard. And it's just a couple of hundred acres in that one. So we're out in this bigger pasture now and they're just gonna hang out for a couple hours. I'll just graze them out here in the evening when it's cool. I can't even tell if you can see because <laughs> my camera is getting so wet. Yay, praise the Lord. So they'll just come out here and graze. You can see Bonnie, hopefully, over there. And I just sit on a hill because I don't want them. Otherwise, what they do, unfortunately, is they spread out really bad. And that's how we had predator losses before. They get out here, and if you just leave them day and night, this pasture is about 2,000 acres, and they will just scatter to the winds. And two guard dogs just cannot. They just can't protect them. So, and then if you look where those trees are, we call that the timber reserve. And that, that, that spot's hard on lambs for some reason. So I try not to let them go there. So the dogs and I are just sitting out here and we'll kind of keep them here. They love, you can tell, we call that buck brush, the greener spots, it's a leafy bush. They love it, love, love, love it. So they'll strip those completely and cattle don't like it. And actually the buck brush takes up a lot of grass and so we we don't want it we want to graze it off so actually the sheep come in super handy for that so anyway it's probably gonna be boring just sitting on the hill with me so i won't do this very long I just, i'm gonna tell you there's a lot worse things in life than grazing sheep and you can start to tell when they are <laughs> getting tired like us they're about done for the night it's glorious they're all bunching up they start to head a little bit south on their own they're about ready to get themselves put back in their pasture on the other side of that fence. They're almost there now. Lambs are all starting to lay down. There's not a whole lot more peaceful than this. It's pretty glorious. Tomorrow we'll go out a little further. Today I was just getting them used to it. Seeing how this bunch, because this is the first bunch this time, or for this bunch that I've had to come out and graze and they stay together really well. Some of my other bunches have not. These are staying together extremely well. I mean, they're spreading out a little more than this, but for the most part, 
they're not just like splitting up into 40 bunches. What's wrong, Gus? Gus, Gus. He had a sticker I had to pull out a minute ago and he had a cactus, so he's not very happy. He's only four months old. He's gonna be such a whale of a dog. Oh, boner lass, what you see? Oh my gosh, I know what she sees actually. She just saw movement, but right beside that white chalk bank is my old, old, old guard dog. She generally doesn't even come out anymore. She stays at the house, she's 15. Guard dogs generally do not make it to 15, to be honest. But Nala's still going, so she'll be out here as long as she wants. But Bonnie is like, wait, what's going on? Clyde, are you even aware that something's going on, that there's movement? Oh, wait, what? Bonnie left. What do you think, girls? About ready to be done for the night? So they got to graze for several hours, and now I'm going to put them back in their own, well, in the pasture. It's a couple hundred acres, so it's not like they're in a corral, but they'll go back in here for the night just so that they're a little closer. They naturally take themselves clear back south. It's just what they do. Steady now. Steady, tight, steady. It's like, oh, push it. A lot of people get annoyed with sheep because they're very habit forming. They they like to go by same routines. I personally like it because I can train them to have certain habits. So they always come back towards the south, no matter what pasture I put them in. At night, they come as close to the house as possible. Um, if they're west, they come east to come to the house, that kind of thing. Right now, they're moving back south. So they've been as far north in this pasture as they can get. They come out to start pushing them back this way. Shoot, they're almost to the gate already. They're almost, I mean, they're within a quarter of a mile, not even that, probably 500 yards. I don't know, I'm not very good at distances. Um, that's how far, I'm just, the gate's not very far behind me. So, there it goes, being a good dog. Being such a good dog, aren't you guys? You good boy, guys? Try, just try calling a guard dog once. It'll, it'll humble you. They don't listen at all. They're great dogs, do their job. They don't listen. I'm gonna make a run north and see if they are all here. I don't wanna leave anything out. So I'll make a run up to the water and make sure nothing's out here and then they're gonna slowly get pushed in. We've got an hour before dark yet. They pretty much bought, brought themselves back tonight. They were pretty close. Enjoy. She's like, I still got a little bit of a workout. Stand. They're just gonna stand there. Joy, stand. They're gonna go get tucked in. S Joy, you're starting to push me a little here, Missy. I think they know the routine already. It's only day two. son and I were talking the other day trying to figure out how many years I've had sheep. I grew up with cattle, so did Mike. Joy right there. And uh, it, sheep were just a whole new thing to me, but it's been about 23 years now that I've had sheep. You learn a lot over that time. A lot. It's supposed to be a complete scorcher today. 104 degrees. Take them out. It's a little, it's just a few minutes after six. And it's already so Hey, Bon. You stay near water today, okay? They're basically traveling between two tents. 
saying set up very far and there's lots of trees and shade, but I still, oof, stinking heat. Not fun, is it, girls? Not fun at all. You can see they're really, you know, usually they run out this morning. They're like, holy crap, it's hot. <laughs> Yes. 